Welcome to Aaron's review and in today's video we come to part 3 of 4 for tips and tricks for the SP1000 music player. As we mentioned in the first video, and tips and tricks should be getting better as we progress through the series. And so for today's video, I'm going to teach you how to do a trick on the SP1000. I would appreciate if you're able to click on the subscribe button and if you find this video useful, do share with other people and hit the like button. As I mentioned, this is two weeks since we started this channel. Start, let's get started. So what we need to do is first of all, go to your computer and open a browser and type in apkpure.com. This is the official website that AK recommends for you to download your open apps. I will put a link in the comments below so that you can click on it. One of the software I will be downloading includes Spotify, Tidal, and also one extra software which is MX Player as shown in this video below. So if you're not too sure how to download this, please watch the first video. Once you have downloaded all of those free applications onto your computer, locate it and then plug in your SP1000 player on into your computer. After that, locate the Spotify app and Tidal app and and put it into the open services folder. So we've plugged in the SP1000 into a computer and Android file transferred has opened and I've located my files that I've downloaded from apkpure.com. I am now going to move the Tidal music player onto, onto first of all, open internal storage and then open surfaces. This is where we would put the files that we want to install. So drag Tidal across, drag Spotify across, go to your SP1000 player, go back to the main screen by pressing the AK button and the services and you will see that Spotify and Tidal has now been transferred onto your SP1000 player. I'm just going to show you how to quickly again install a app, which is what I've done in my tips and tricks part one. Now, after installing this Spotify, I'm going to show you slight, something slightly different, which you probably find very interesting, as you probably won't be aware of but you'll we'll we'll find it in a couple of minutes or seconds. There we go, Spotify has been installed. I'm just going to go back out. Again, I'm going to go to APK, or the uh, Asterian Current. I'm going to go to Services. You can see that Tidal is there, okay? Now, in order to make this trick work, this is what you need to do, okay? So at the moment, the player must be in this current page, okay? where we have Tidal. Tidal has not been installed. On the computer, notice I earlier downloaded MX Player, which is here. I moved the Tidal onto my SP1000 Open Services folder. I am just going to double click the Tidal icon and copy. Copy, right click, copy. And then on my computer that contains the MX Player app, I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to actually paste that Tidal name onto the MX Player one. Oops, I need to actually first of all remove that old Tidal one first because I can have two duplicates. Now I'm going to double click on the MX Player. I am now going to paste that Tidal one that I used earlier. Right, remember my player currently is in this location where it sees Tidal. I am just going to delete from the SP1000 folder the Tidal Music app, APK. I am now going to drag across the Tidal, which actually is the MX player. And roughly that is the trick done. Now we are now going to have a close shot of what I've done. So I've replaced that with MX Player but changed the name to Tidal. I am now going to press Tidal. 
and as you can see MX player X player is what you see right now I'm going to install it again it takes a bit of time there we go open and there is MX player installed onto your SP1000 earlier I also moved a folder called movies or animation onto this player and yes it's anywhere on the SP1000 and you can see I'll demonstrate to you that it works rotating it this direction you will see that it is loading up its font cache And there we go, we have an animation playing on your SP1000 player for those who find this beneficial. Alternatively, I will show you another one. So continue with another movie, this is The Grinch. I'm just going to show you a bit of it because I shouldn't be showing you it on YouTube due to rights. A little bit, see, there we go, the Grinch. Okay, and that is what I want to show you as tip number three. Notice that when you go back to services app, it does now indicate it is MX player. Okay, so that is a small trick where we actually pretend that the actual app is actually Tidal, where we actually modify the name so that the player thinks it's seeing the actual name but we actually change it during halfway. Uh, just to let you know, the current player firmware system information it is using right now. We've gone to the right, yes, it is now at firmware 1.17 CM, which is actually the current latest model, or latest firmware. So yes, and that's where, it, where the, what I've done to do this trick. It should work with all other SP1000 and even maybe the other SE100 and SR15 depending on your hardware. Uh, I'm sure that some of you will probably think, oh, does this with, work with other apps too? And I can confirm it does work with some other apps too. So I am now going to show you now YouTube, which is probably one of the things that most of you want, want to try. Uh, however, it does install, but I don't think it works. But I'll, I'll just show you. I'm sure some of you won't want to know about this one. So to remove the MX player, I'm just going to services and it finds MX player. I am going to press delete and I'm going to press OK. And that's it gone from the SP1000 player. Um, going back to the computer, the same thing as before, which is to move the original title onto the SP1000 and then double click on it and then copy that title name onto the YouTube and then drag that modify YouTube name one back onto the player and here is the cut down version when I install it. I'm going to double click on title and you can see that YouTube 14.16.52 is able to install. I'm going to press on it. Installing. App has installed. Open. YouTube won't run without Google Play services, which are not suppressed by your device. And that's what happens when I try to install YouTube. I'm going to uninstall this. As I said, it doesn't work. But there we go. All right. Plugging it back into the laptop once more. All right, I'm gonna do one more demonstration for you guys. Uh, I think one for the audio file people who like to change the EQ. Okay, and then coming back to the SP1000 player, I am now going to press 
high though once more and you can see music volume EQ for those who like to change the EQ on the players now installs click open accept the allow music volume to record audio and there is the app installed onto your SP1000 I've, I've never used this app so for those of you who would like to change your EQ maybe this is the one that you use on your Android phone hopefully you have found this video interesting and useful and as I mentioned it would be very appreciative if you are able to click on the subscribe button and click the like button there will be one more final video and that should be my finale for this series if you have any questions do send me a comment below and remember it is possible that AK could update upgrade the firmware such that this functionality would be disabled Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.